Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how you can show notifications on the latest Android API level. So for those of you who uh, have missed it, in uh, API level 33, Google actually changed that we can just easily show notifications the way we did before. No, we actually now need a permission for that, which we need to request before. And in this video, I will just show you how you can yeah, make your notification-based app work on Android devices running on the latest API level. So here I am in an empty Android Studio project. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to build at Gradle, um, the app file. And we want to change the compile and target SDK, of course, to 33, because that's what our app should target and support. Then we click synchronize now. Don't need any specific dependencies here. And you will notice that if we go to manifest and we add a permission, that there is now this post notifications permission. And this is now needed on devices running on API 33 and above. So we will have some additional checks we need to do. We need to request that permission, all that stuff. And that is what I will show you in this video. So we just display a very basic hello world notification when we click on a button and also how you can request this permission. So here in our root package, we're going to first of all create an application class. So I'll just call this my app and this will be an application. The reason I do this is because we need to create a so-called notification channel. A notification channel is just something used in which we send notifications. So it kind of um, summarizes a specific category of notifications. For example, you could create a notification channel for um, direct messages on Instagram, for example. So th those would be all the notifications relating to direct messages. And these channels are typically created here in on create of your application class. And here we first of all want to say, well, channel is notification channel. And we need to give it an ID. The ID is just yeah channel ID. We can give it a name, which is just channel name. This would be also displayed in the app settings, by the way. So that is something the user will see. I will just choose very generic names here and we need to pass importance. So uh, for the importance, we can say notification manager dot importance high. So depending on what you choose here, your notification will maybe come with a little sound, will maybe be ranked higher in your notifications tab and so on. And we also get an issue here that we need some, um, that notification channels only exist on at least Android Oreo. So we want to surround this with a check here. So we only create this channel on Oreo and above. And we of course don't want to make this an assignment. We simply put this channel in here and we don't need an else block because um, below Oreo, we just don't need to create such a channel. And then if you would want to explain to the user what this channel does, you could also set a description here, which I will leave blank. Now we actually just want to create this channel. For that, we need the notification manager. We can get this with get system service context dot notification service we cast it as a notification manager and we then use this to create a notification channel passing our channel and yeah that's it now when our app is actually launched for the first time uh, then we create this channel we also need to register this application class in our manifest so we kind of link this to our app we can simply do this using name and then adding my app and the rest we want to do here is in main activity where we set up our UI. We're just going to set up two simple buttons. And if we click one button, we will request the notification permission. So after that, we can show notifications. And if we click the other button, then we will show the notification. So the first thing we want to make sure is we want to have some kind of compose state here that um, holds this value, whether we have notification permission or not. So we can have a var has notification permission by remember and that will be a mutable state of here we can say um context compat that is how we actually request or uh, check if we have a specific permission by using check self permission we need to pass the context um since we are in an activity we could also just pass this but i will also show you how you could do that if you were not in an activity by simply saying well context is local context dot, well not that one Oh, not that one, <laughs> context.current. Then we can simply pass it here. Context and the permission you want to check for existence is manifest. 
um, from Android dot permission dot post notifications. And if that is equal to package manager dot permission granted, we know we have notification permission. And now we of course still get a big error message here because this post notifications permission is only available on API level 33 and above. So what do we need to do here? We need to surround this with a check again. So pressing Alt Enter. First of all, we need to import get value of mutable state flow and set value. So Alt Enter twice. And then we need to press Alt Enter again to surround this with an, with an if statement here to check that we're at least on um, the Tiramisu API level. And else, if we are not, we just want to say, hey, that's a mutable state, uh, mutable state off, true. Because if we are below this API level, then we are always allowed to post notifications. So there, uh, this permission does not exist on that. And then below this state, we want to have a column with our two buttons. Make this fill the whole screen. Um, we'll make size, maybe add a bit of padding. Let's say 16 dp, import dp, pressing alt enter. And let's also center our buttons vertically and horizontally like this. And then in here, we're going to have a button. This button, um, let's leave the on click empty for now. We are just going to add some text that describes this button. That one is for requesting the permission, request permission. And then we can uh, copy this. And this button will be to show our notification. And usually you can also directly show that um, permission request for the user to accept when your app launches. It's also reasonable, but usually I would always wait with that until it's really necessary. So for example, if the user turns on some kind of notifications in their app, so clicking on an alert button or so, or reaches a screen where this starts to become relevant, because if your user is bombarded with tons of permission requests right when they open the app, that is rather overwhelming and gives them the impression you want to know so much from them. So I would always recommend to um, make the permission request part of a user interaction, such as clicking on a button or so. So here, when we show the notification, in when we click on this button, let's add that first by adding a little function in our activity, show notification, which is rather easy. We just want to get a reference to our notification manager again, just like in our my app class using get system service context notification service as notification manager, because that will again be needed to show our notification. But before we can do this, we need to construct it to tell Android and the system how it looks like. So we say notification is equal to notification compat dot builder passing in our context here, we can just say this or application context and passing in the channel ID in which we want to send that notification. And this is just channel underscore ID. That must be the same name as we specified here for our channel ID. You could also make that a constant, which I would do in a, in a real project. And now we have a typical builder pattern where we can set the content text, the content title and a ton of more variables. Content text will be this is some content text or whatever you want set content title, let's set this to hello world. And each notification needs a small icon, which I will just choose the launcher icon here, the IC launcher foreground, because I'm too lazy to add my custom icon. And then we call build to construct our notification. To then show it, we use our notification manager dot notify. We need to give our notification an ID, which must be um, at least one. So we can choose one here. If you then were to update this notification later, for example, change the text or so, you would need to call this function again with the same ID you um, used before for this. And then you pass this notification here, just like that. We can then go to our show notification button, call this function show notification. But before that, we of course need to be able to request permission. So here in this on click listener, we kind of need to open that permission dialog. And if you want to do it 100% right, then 
As for now, I would use the Jetpack Compose Accompanist library, which comes with um, easier permission handling. So when you usually request permission on Android and the user declines, then there's quite some complexity involved in that um, because you want to show some kind of rationale that explains, hey, this permission is actually needed for these reasons because our app wants to show you some helpful information or so. Um, and if the user then permanently declines, then you need to handle that again. In this case here, because I just want to show you how you can request the permission, I um, I will just use a normal activity result launcher. You can also check it that way, but it's just a bit more complex than with uh, the accompanist library. But because the accompanist library tends to change quite often, I'm not a big fan of using that in YouTube tutorials because I am also not a fan of my videos getting uh, deprecated in two weeks. So let's just use an activity result launcher here. We can say that's our permission launcher and that's equal to remember launcher for activity result. We need to specify a contract here, which we can get from activity result contracts and request permission because that's what we want to do. We want to launch this um, permission activity for a result, which is in this case, hey, did the user accept or decline that permission? And then on result, we get that Boolean, whether that permission was granted or not. If it was granted, we want to update our state accordingly. Um, true is granted in this case, and then we're good. And in case you also would want to show a rational here, then you could check if is granted is false. You could then uh, check, I think, should, yeah, here, should show request permission rational, check that for specific permission. And if that function returns true, you have access to that in an activity, then you can yeah, show some kind of dialogue to the user explaining what that permission is used for. And if that is actually false, this function here, and is granted as also false, then you know that the user permanently declined that permission and you would need to show another dialogue, hey, you permanently declined that, please go to the app settings and enable that back if you want to see notifications. I will leave that away here. And now with this permission launcher, we can just launch this here in our button on click. So permission launcher dot launch passing the activity, uh, the permission we want to request, which is manifest permission post notifications. And that's of course, again, only available for tiramisu and onwards. Let's press alt enter and surround this with a check. And then we are actually good. That should be everything we need to do to No, We actually also want to check for that permission here. If has notification permission, otherwise we don't want to do anything like this. Let's launch this and try if this works. There we go. Here are two buttons. This is an emulator running on API level 33. So where we need to request these permissions, if we click on show notification, then uh, nothing will really happen because we don't have permission. However, if we click on request permission first, we will see this permission request. We can allow or disallow. Uh, let's hit allow. And now if we click show notification, then we actually see our notification here in our top bar, which is exactly what we want. So quite a lot of complexity here for something as simple as showing a notification. Thanks to Android, <laughs> it never gets boring. And let's see what the future brings. But first of all, we have these channels, which actually already allow the user to manually disable such a channel in the app settings to kind of yeah also disallow that permission. But the Android team probably thought that's not enough. We need to make this even more obvious to the user that they can disable that. So we now have these annoying permissions. Just my personal view on this. What is actually your opinion on this permission? Uh, let us know down below. If you are not a subscriber of this channel yet, then now is also a very good chance to not miss two Android specific videos every single week. And as a last thing, if you are actually annoyed as an Android developer by all the fast changes that we have in the Android world, and you just feel very lost, and you don't know which approach is really the best, which a design decision is the best for, for your specific case, then I actually do have a mentorship program where you can apply for. So we will directly work together. You can find the link down below where you find all the information, what is offered and what you get. So do check it out and apply there for this mentorship where I will actually soon launch the last round of this year. So this will be the last chance to directly work with me together for this year. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you back in the next video. Bye bye.